he can work on uh, Ancient Lies and Devil Cries, the new album, uh, I think early 2011, around the time when On Wings of Defiance was released. And then I wrote, uh, wrote a couple of songs. And I recorded the album throughout 2011. But I wasn't really happy with the way it sounded, so I recorded again. I recorded it again in 2012, uh, which was which was a better version. But then everything changed when Sargon rejoined Countess in 2013. Um, we decided to re-record everything, right? so vocals and keyboards and guitars. Um, we opted for a somewhat different guitar sound, uh, more my guitar sound, but it's a little bit cleaner and heavier at the same time. A different bass sound. Um, I know we will be recording the album. Ten minutes um, doesn't bore me for a second. Really, um, just a lot going on, a lot of intensity that I really like. Um, Devil Sky is uh, actually one of the older songs on the album. Uh, I wrote that in uh, 2005 in a somewhat different and rather rudimentary uh, version, and recorded it. Uh, wasn't too happy with it, even though I thought it had potential. And then in 2011, I rewrote it. Uh, I added a lot, of, a lot of parts and bits and riffs, even though the basic song structure stayed the same and the the original riffs that were there stayed in the song as well, but it just le needed a, a bit more. Hopefully, <laughs> Pantheon is one of the songs we, we play live um, with very good reception. Um, a fast, catchy song. flows well, it has a good chorus, and it, uh, it, it's one of the couple of songs of the album that we also played live, and it also sounds very good live, so... Uh, also written in 2011. It's a bit more epic, though it's still not too long and it's, uh, it's a really cool song. By Hammer and Blood is also a song that we play live. favorite tracks of the album, without a doubt. Uh, very atmospheric, um, somewhat epic, although it's not very long. Um, good atmosphere, great lyrics by me. The 
Vengeance of the Slain, the fourth track, well, just the, the typical faster kind of song, I guess. Aggressive, with the uh, aggressive vocal style of Warlock. A really fast, crushing song. Uh, initially, when we had recorded uh, 14 tracks for the album, we hadn't decided when we recorded them which ones we were going to put on the album. And initially, we thought we might leave this one off, but in the end, we were pretty satisfied with the way it turned out, so we decided to, uh, to include it. Which is also pretty good, it's a bit different. Kind of an atypical track for Countess, probably. Um, I like it though, it's, it's a bit monotonous, but really nice atmosphere. Uh, with one of my better guitar leads, probably, on that album. Although it's very simple, just like the song. The last track to be included on the album. Um, the choice was between Goddess with Gleaming Eyes and Beneath the Eye of Wisdom. We opted for Beneath the Eye of Wisdom because it, um, it went somewhat better with the overall atmosphere of the album. of a polytheist, uh, which is probably uh, in its original form the oldest song on the album. I wrote it in uh, 1999. Well, Sargon liked the song, he especially liked the chorus. Uh, so, in 2013, when we were rehearsing together again, uh, he suggested that we start playing this song, uh, but with some major uh, revisions, so we really completely rewrote the song. And then when we started recording Ancient Lies again, we thought, well, let's record this one again and see how it turns out. And we were pretty pleased with the way it turned out, so we decided to include it on the album. Yeah, and in case uh, anyone hasn't noticed, uh, we also used uh, uh, the melody of the Chorus of Confessions of a Polytheist uh, for our new 2014 Lightning So, Pray for the Cult. Um, yeah, both me and Orlok are, are huge New Wave British Heavy Metal fans. Um, you know, Priest, Maiden, Saxon whatever. Um, um, I heard the rudimentary version of that track and well we both decided to make it sound even more like the way of British heavy metal basically. So I added uh, the harmonized guitar parts in the beginning and some stuff in, in the chorus and uh, yeah, the kind of cheeky guitar lead. Um, just going with the atmosphere, like I, like I like to do, and, and always try to do, go along with the atmosphere. So.
play live, I guess, once at Witches Brow Festival. Um, yeah, it, it, it was kind of a crowd pleaser, I guess, uh, working well live. Oh my God. Proceed of Aten is uh, also a song I wrote in 2011, even though there are some older uh, musical ideas in it. It's a pretty cool song, it's pretty... It has a, a lot of parts that are maybe a bit untypical for us, but it turned out great. It's a, it's a really cool song. Which is uh, one of the older songs on the album. It was originally called uh, Blessed in Hell. Uh, it would, the music was written in 2005. It was the lyric written in 1993. Uh, which wasn't really that good, which is the reason uh, why when we started playing it again, I wrote a new lyric for it. And we were playing it in 2013 when we were rehearsing, and it's short, it's fast, it has a nice, uh, a nice lead. It it sounds cool, so we decided to include it on the album. The final song, The Last Temple, which is actually the first song I wrote for the album in 2011. It's a, it's a very atmospheric song. It's, it's very simple. Uh, it, it's totally focused on atmosphere. And it succeeds pretty well, we think in creating a really cool atmosphere. It has some really good guitar leads which really add to the atmosphere. And it's a, it's a really nice epic album closer. It's, a, it's kind of a trade, Countess trademark to have a long epic song as an album closer. And uh, The Last Temple can probably hold its ground against any epic album closer we ever did in the past. This dude, one of my favorite Counts albums, probably, together with Spawn of Steel and um, Return of the Horned One. Um, just to read. Really nice album. Uh, we're very really pleased with the result. Um, it's pretty diverse. Um, sometimes there are throwbacks to the old counters, especially in the closer of the album. Yeah, I really like the album and uh, really glad that um, I got the opportunity to be a, a, a part of that. <laughs> 